All right, we are ready for the Cowboys preview. Let's go. Um, we're just going to get right into the questions, I think, and I'll read them off to you because yeah. they're directed for you. Absolutely. And thank you again to everyone for dropping questions. We got six this week. Three from the same person, but hey, <laughs> I love I love the questions. Yeah, I love the questions. Of course, you know a couple of these were, uh, you know, put in after the Trey Lance news. Um, and we'll save those for the end. You have no idea how bummed out I was that I posted the questionnaire a day before he got traded. Oh. I, I was like, God <laughs> yeah. damn it, of course. That's all right. I, it, the thing was still up there, though, when, when it happened. Yes, it was. For the last, like, five or six hours or whatever. That's true, that's true. Yep. All right, so first question is from Flaming Hot Cool Ranch. I got to say, it's one of the best handles ever. I, it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> And, how, and how, does, how does nobody else have that handle? I know. Right? Besides Carlos. I know. And so, he was Gucci Rod before, which was a great one as well. Just, <laughs> every time I see Flaming Out Cool Ranch, it's just yeah. it's what Instagram's all about. Honestly. Um, and shout out to Carlos. Uh, hope he's doing well. Good guy. Hope you're listening. Hope yeah. You're. Honestly. Thank you for the question, though. Yeah. So his question is, what will be the thing that holds back the Cowboys this season? I know you're a big pessimist when it comes to your sports teams. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, for, for me, it boils down to two things. Dak Prescott's play quarterback and Mike McCarthy's play calling because he is going to be pl- playing or calling the plays in Dallas. This you, you stole my point from later in the in this segment, <laughs> but no, I agree with that. Those me. those are the two things that really I'm worried about. Yeah, everything else, the defense, I feel good about. I mean, the offensive line's a little shaky, but I think they'll be okay. <clears throat> Maybe the tight end situation I also am kind of worried about. Yeah, because tight end has been one of uh, Dak's security blankets, but. But those two things by far are the only things I'm worried about. And maybe just Jerry Jones being Jerry Jones. <laughs> you laugh. You laugh, but it's true. What, was he going 98 last year? He was going 66 this year? <laughs> That's a 32-mile-an-hour difference. The man's a billionaire, okay? He can say what he wants. That, that comment fucking blew my mind. When I, was re- <laughs> when I was reading the caption, I was like, he, he didn't actually say that. There's no way. I had to watch the video <laughs> to confirm it. I can't even remember who that was about. Yeah, Jerry Jones, he's got to be in his 80s, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. He's losing it. <laughs> Can we just have Stephen Jones start to talk to the man? No. <laughs> we'll have hey, we'll have Jerry in the box seats looking all, all looking all pretty with his family behind him. <laughs> just don't let the man talk anymore. Yeah. Don't let him talk. Please don't. I beg you. He's off his fucking rocker. <laughs> uh, next question is from Seven Waffles. Uh, she says, pessimism aside, she knows you too well. She knows me very well. <laughs> Uh, do you believe the Cowboys are Super Bowl contenders? And I think she's going to be surprised by this answer because I do think they are Super Bowl contenders only because of how weak the NFC seems to be as of right now. I think it's fair to say the Cowboys are a top five team. I could probably stretch it to top three. Eagles and I think Niners are clearly better football teams. For sure in the NFC, yeah. They're at least top three. So that's the only reason why I'd say... Of the Cowboys are contenders because if you're top three, which I think they could, they are. Yeah. Talent from a talent standpoint, that means you can make it to the NFC Championship, which means you can possibly make it to the Super Bowl. So yeah. yes, I will say they're Super Bowl contenders. Yeah, I think I guess it it does depend on how you define contender, but to me, if if I could see your team in the in the championship game mm-hmm. on either, in either conference, I would kind of view you as a and you could see a, that for the Cowboys. I, I could, yeah. And I said or I said a couple weeks ago, I think. It's not ridiculous to think that their ceiling is making it to the championship game. Yeah. Maybe not winning it. I think the ceiling could be just making it. I think it's a good ceiling. I think it's a realistic ceiling for the Cowboys as of right now. Pretty realistic goal, yeah. I I agree with that. Uh, Next question, next three will be all from Chavaway. He's pretty good at these questions. Friend of the show. Got to give them to him. Uh, He asks, what is your prediction for the Cowboys record this season? Which we'll talk about that again, but... Yeah, spoiler alert. Because I'm we're gonna talk about this stuff next week. Yeah. I'm having the Cowboys going ten and seven. I think that's pretty fair. And I, I think I have they're they're gonna be a wild card team in my opinion. Yeah, I think. I mean, Philly's gonna win the division unless or unless something happens. Unless to something Philly. happens to, to to you know like Jalen Hurts or something with Philadelphia, I think they're gonna be good again. They're gonna be good. Yeah, and I don't think the Cowboys are gonna beat or win the division. I think be, I think ten and sevens. You know, it's a good enough season. They're going to yeah. lose their games. I think I have them at 11 wins right now, so I think that's... Yeah. And and that is partially because the NFC is a little weak. Yeah. Um, and surprise for everybody, three of these losses out of the seven that I have 
our gauges guarantee. Oh, they're coming so back. Look forward to them next week. We'll talk about the drinks of choice for those predictions next yes. week. I only have three. I think I learned my lesson from last year having like five or six. <laughs> you put yourself on the line last year. <laughs> and I was tired of drinking two eleven. So you know what? I really wanted to boil it down to say what what games I really feel like they're absolutely gonna lose yeah. and I picked three. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Um next question from Chava. Will Deuce Vaughn draft pick this year be a key contributor this season? And he wants to make sure everyone knows that he's a short king, which he absolutely is. Who, Sal? Uh, no, Deuce Vaughn. Uh, well, Sal's kind of a short, uh, Sal's king, short too. king, Yeah. Too. And he said hand heart. Yeah, yeah he did the, the hand heart emoji <laughs> to go along with that. I mean, I sure hope he is. That'd be great. You know, I love what I've seen, the little that I've seen from the preseason from him. And I think he could be a good back- backup for Tony Pollard, although I do believe that he is technically the third running back. Yeah. I mean, he, people have been hyping him up. He looks great. He, yeah. Shifty. Shifty, shifty little guy. Sure. I do think, though, that he it's interesting that they drafted him because it's not really a change of pace from Pollard because Pollard's kind of a mm-hmm. on the smaller side for backs. Um, I'm try, who's number two in line? I'm trying to, uh, trying to think. Right, they're right here for you, actually. Um, Rico da- or Dowdle. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's his, what's his size? He is 6'215". Yeah, so that's, that's more of a power back size. So he's probably going to get some goal line touches, I would imagine. Um, and I know you're going to mention X factors, but I think Deuce Vaughn could be an X factor for the Cowboys. He he would be like a, a, a down the line, like you know, maybe you get a Pollard injury or something like that. He steps in, but and hopefully, can contribute. Not. yeah, exactly. But yes, <clears throat> I just th- I find it hard being a being a third running back and getting enough touches to actually make an impact. Unless it, unless they put him in like punt returner situation, I don't know if he's been doing that or not. But yeah, we'll see. I don't yeah. think I've seen any kind of punt returns from him. But. Yeah, <clears throat> I hope so. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, last question from Chava. <laughs> Speaking of Trey Lance, in light of the news, how long until Trey replaces Bum Dak? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Um, Dak would either have to play terribly yeah. or get injured for Trey Lance to see snaps this season. Yeah. I don't think Trey Lance is going to be this, a quarterback for the Cowboys for a few seasons. Yeah, I think it's realistic to think that they this was just an investment trade for the Cowboys. Um, I... Like he's got to be number three behind Cooper Rush, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, he he doesn't know a, a you know a lick about the playbook. Mm-hmm. Also, and as as he should. Yeah. He should be the, the third guy because if I'm Cooper Rush, I'm like, wait, I've been busting my ass being the backup, and I've actually helped you guys win games last season, right? And yeah. the season prior. Yeah. And I'm the third guy now. Yeah. Cooper Rush deserves to be the second guy as of right now. Yeah. But I think, like you said, Trey Lance long term is. What the Cowboys hope to have yeah. in a, another franchise quarterback, and I hope that too. I, I I also feel like the trade for him is more like we're going to see if the, they're taking a flyer to see if this guy can play, kind of thing. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's really it like you said, it's not about this season at all with Trey. Um, you know, and if he doesn't, you you know, you burned a fourth round pick. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so yeah, I, I don't, I really don't think. I, if yeah, I think a lot would have to go wrong for the Cowboys to see Trey Lance on the field this year. I think they would be on the outside looking in playoff picture wise if you see Trey Lance on the field this year. And if that's the case, if the Cowboys are doing that bad, is it almost worth tanking and trying to get Caleb Williams next season? I mean, I mean they have to be doing really bad to get to that point. <laughs> but but yeah. And then next question, final question from the Scotty E. Glad he dropped one in on us. A late one. Late I'm glad one. that we. I told him that would answer this question. Yeah. On the podcast, hopefully Scott, you're listening. Yeah, and he's asked which tr- situation is worse for Trey. Obviously, speaking about Niners or versus Cowboys. And I, I understand what he means because, you know, because when he was on the Niners, he was a third guy. Right. And right now, in the Cowboys, he's a third guy. But I'm going to say that the Niners situation was worse because Brock Purdy is younger than Dak Prescott. If that makes any sense, because we know right now Brock Purdy. Ideally, he's going to be the quarterback for the Niners for the next, we'll say, 12 years, right? Yeah, I mean, I think they're just, I don't know. I, I can't imagine it being that big of a commitment from the Niners' perspective right now. But We'll, we'll just say he's quarterback for the next 10 years. Yeah, I don't think Dak Prescott will be the, the quarterback for the Cowboys in the next 10 years. So maybe that's kind of their thought process of, well, our quarterback is already 31 years old. Yeah. He's only getting it's older. Is he that old now? It's I crazy. Trey Lance is 31. Time's flying. Or no, Trey Lance is 23. Excuse yeah, me. yeah. So I, I think I think it's worse. I think they're both when he was on the Niners, but it, it does seem kind of weird because yeah, everyone's like, oh, Trey finally gets a new, 
Yeah, you know, gets a breath of fresh a, air. A fresh start, yeah. but it's like he's still back where he still back to square one. Right. So I completely understand what Scott's trying to say. But I think the fact that Brock Purdy is younger than Dak Prescott, that makes it worse for Trey because I think that's longer that Trey wouldn't see the field. Yeah. I think the the breath of fresh air still applies though in this situation because the the expectations being on the Niners were that he's living up to a, a number three overall pick. Yeah. And that's kind of out the window now. Now he's you could basically argue he's a fourth round pick because that's what the Cowboys traded to get him. Yeah. Um, so that I think is you know le- that that kind of pressure is is lessened. Um, but I don't think either is really like a gateway to <laughs> to like a starting job. No. You know. But I gotta say, when I heard this on the news and Danny, he or when I heard this on the radio, and Danny was the first one to break it to me, and I thought it was a joke. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, it'd be funny if he was on the Cowboys, yeah, right? Because he sent me this Instagram screenshot of an account I never heard of, so I thought it was just kind of like something fake. Yeah. And I heard it literally five minutes later on the radio. I'm like, wait, what? And I, I literally, I got excited because the Cowboys don't ever do anything like this, it seems. Yeah. And the, for me, the writing on the wall. It's clear for Dak Prescott after throwing like 15 picks in 12 games last year. That was that was bad. And yes, a lot of them weren't his fault. You know, sometimes they go off receivers. And all yeah, that. but still, it's, on, remember, his, it's still on his stat sheet. Right. Not the wide receivers. Yeah. So I know what Jerry Jones is doing. Jerry Jones is thinking, <laughs> Dak. I think he's putting the pressure on. Him. Hey, yeah, putting the pressure on you, Dak. You know, like a son to me. I drafted you in the fourth round, kind of like what we got for Trey. Hey, is there? A <laughs> yeah. Kind right. of comparison there. Right. Also, do I think Jerry Jones? Wants Trey Lance just so the Cowboys can be in Hard Knocks next year. Possibly. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I, I guarantee. Uh, I guarantee the Cowboys will be the running for Hard Knocks just because of this. Hard Knocks is like becoming funny now. Yeah. Like the Jets were so against it, but they were like basically forced to do it this yeah. year. But overall, you probably, you are surprised probably that I was excited to hear this news. I mean, because we we know what Dak Prescott is. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get any better. I don't think he's going to make any more leaps to propel the Cowboys where <clears> they want to be, or where I want them to be. And I think Trey Lance, the unknown, it's worth taking the fourth round risk. And I don't even think it's that much of a risk. It's yeah, a fourth round pick. The Cowboys are good at drafting. They'll figure it out. I mean, you know, the Niners are good at drafting too, so they'll, they'll figure out some of that fourth pick. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, they're good at drafting as long as it's not a quarterback in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, I mean, I think it was. A pretty good move by the Cowboys. I mean, I don't. There's nothing really, unless they were giving up like a second round pick. I'd be like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a reach. But yeah. fourth round pick, I think that's just about right. Um, I, I think it was a good move by them. I I still think like if I was a Cowboys fan, I'd be like, let's pump the brakes on the excitement factor because he's he's got a long way to go to get to you know being a starter for them. Could this possibly possibly be a Steve Young type situation? Yeah. That's an interesting way to, way to look at it. Steve Young did play for the Buccaneers more than Trey Young. Trey Young. Trey Young. Trey, Trey Lance. Yeah. Excuse me. Trey Lance played for the Niners, but yeah. you know, optimism. I'll be. I'll be an optimist. Yeah. No, I mean, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think there is reason to be somewhat excited, but not like there's anything set in stone that he's going to be the guy or anything like that. The funniest part about this is I literally called this in our group chat. Uh, yeah. Me, you and Sal. I, I like, feel like you were being sarcastic, but I don't know. I kind of was, but I was like, I, I literally said in the group chat between me and Sal, I'm going to laugh when Jerry Jones makes this trade. <laughs> yeah. And then it happened. <laughs> but uh, I kind of want to know your opinion as a Niner fan. Like, how do you feel about this? I mean, I, <laughs> everybody seems to be saying that this is the worst, that was the worst pick ever. Well, in I mean, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty bad. Like how much they gave up to get a guy that, you know, they seem to have so much faith in, yet he had so little experience. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm generally on the side of, like, if because the John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan era has proven to be pretty good. You know, they haven't won the Super Bowl, but they've been to one. You guys, they've been to a couple of championship games. You guys are going to win the division this year. You guys are going to have, I think, 12-plus wins. You guys yeah. are going to be fine. You guys still win games. And I heard a good quote that winning rules <clears throat> all because you guys are continuing to win. Yeah. That's why this doesn't look as bad. If you right. guys were in the shits, yeah. this would look terrible. Exactly. And so, like, because of that, I am putting my trust and faith as a fan in them and, and you know, accepting that whatever decision they make, they're doing the right thing. Yeah. So, obviously, this is a blemish um, because of that, you know, w- because of what they gave up to get him and how it didn't pan out. Uh, but... And I do, I think that they should, like, 
Yeah, they say that fourth round pick was as good as they could have got for him. Whatever, sure, fine. Yeah. But I think it would have been worth it to just keep him around. Aside from the fact that I think the reason they got rid of him was because they didn't want like the drama looming over the franchise for the whole season. Well, I think they really like Brandon Allen's play too. Yeah, I mean him as a third third quarterback is fine. I think you know they think highly of Sam think, Darnold. I guess. I mean, and I don't think they want four quarterbacks on the roster. Well, no, yeah, that's. I think if they kept Trey, they would have had to let go of Brandon Allen. So they were probably comfortable keeping Brandon Allen. But yeah, it it was probably just you know we, we want to get him out of here, get him in a situation that he wants to be in. Um, just to kind of and, and but like you said, they're gonna have to win games this year, which I think they sh- they still will. But they're gonna have to win games to kind of brush that mm-hmm. that drama aside. I mean, if the Niners win the Super Bowl this year, everyone's gonna forget about that trade. Yeah, one hundred percent. As in, you know, I mean, not forget, but no one's gonna care about it. Anymore. I mean, I think still that people will let it go if they win a game or two in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. One last thing I'll say about this whole uh, Trey Lance thing. The Cowboy Niner connection is the gift that keeps on giving it's to fucking, this podcast. It's unreal. I, I I can't even explain it. We we like the Niners and Cowboys like never played meaningful games, and hardly even ever played in the regular season. Like it was, which you see, it seemed like every four years. It, yeah, which was the yeah, but then they had like the game in in twenty twenty right when we first started. That was like it, both teams were bad. Both. Oh, they both had the back. Jimmy, Jimmy was out. Of the, Dak, out, was out. Dak was out. Yeah, that's when yeah. he broke his leg up. Like yeah, that. so it was the first time they right. they played in a while, and then it's been every year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that's amazing. The back to back playoff years. Yep. And then they're gonna play this year in week five. Yep. The trade lands trade. It's just all. It's, it's kind of weird. It's the way the world works is weird. It is. It but, is funny. Hey, it's cool. It will be like. I'm not rooting for Trey to be good or not. Yeah, you know, like I really don't care. Um, but it would be funny if this trade is like one of those ones that goes down. Like it worked out so well for the Cowboys because he eventually one became a star, or at least even became a, a productive starter. You know. But I mean, yeah, that's that's ideal for yeah. me. For you, yeah. it's probably not. But you, you know, Brock Purdy. I think the the jury's still out a little bit on Brock Purdy for sure. And that's why when you said like, oh, he's going to be the quarterback for the next you know decade, and like if that was hypothetical. Yeah, like. I don't even, I don't even think that Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch actually believe that that's going to be the case. Mm-hmm. I think they're taking advantage of the fact that he's on a, a cheap rookie contract. Yeah. So, um, I know I have on here over under nine and a half wins. We both think they're going to go over. Yeah. I think I think that's a pretty comfortable number to go over. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think one one um, site had him at exactly ten wins, but that nine and a half is easier to to pick on. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I got him at 11, finished in second okay. place in the NFC East. X-Factors, you said Deuce Vaughn already, but... I think Brandon Cooks could be a good X-Factor, too. Yeah, nice addition on the outside. Um, kind of now... Well, obviously you got CD, who's kind of become a star player. Um, but he could be a good, you know, other security blanket type guy. Michael Gallup's always been good when he's, when he's healthy. Yeah, he kind of had an interesting year. Mm. Last season coming off the injury. I mean, maybe the tight end, Jake Ferguson, or Luke Schoonmaker. Yeah. Out of Michigan. Yeah. Something like that. But I'd say comfortably Brandon Cooks because he is probably technically the third option. You think he's below Gallup on the on the depth chart? I think, I think he is. I think he's got a better track record than Gallup overall. I do agree with that, but I think maybe He's since, a little older. Though. I think maybe since this is his first year with the Cowboys, maybe Gallup has been there and yeah. done that. To me, I know this is obvious, but you said it earlier. Can Dak take care of the football? I think I mean, it's not even the player. It's just can he take care of the football? Fewer turnovers is going to be huge for their offense. And he was so good at doing that early in his career. I yeah, mean, I don't know. Just last year, it just got out of hand, out of nowhere. Yeah, the switch flipped, and it was yeah. not. It's not good. And you know, he had the injury in the middle of the season, so that kind of threw maybe threw him off a little bit. Yeah. But then you're right also about Mike McCarthy. I think he and he's he's pretty much putting his own self on the hot seat mm-hmm. by taking on the play calling again. He's putting all of his chips in. He's in throwing there. it all. And I, I think he would be on the hot seat regardless. Mm-hmm. But he's really, yeah, like you said, he's putting all of his chips in the middle. Um, so his, his play calling and managing the team at the same time is going to be big time for them. I almost feel like Mike McCarthy keeps his job only if the Cowboys make the championship game. 
I because if they don't, then I agree. You can. I mean, Jerry Jones has to think like you'd have reasonable reasonable cause to fire him. So that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I think I think this is kind of make or break. The thing is, like, here, here's another question for you, though. Like, if the Cowboys do make the championship game, they play, say, the Eagles. Ugh. And they get beat, you know, I'm not even going to say blow up, but they get beat handily. Like 17. Yeah. 14. Or what? Yeah, two scores. Okay. We'll call it that. Does, does that, does, do you feel like that's still, uh, like, progression from the past? Just Just doing that? Like, yeah, because the Cowboys, it's it's the biggest cloud looming over the franchise. The fact that they haven't even made it to the championship game since I was born. Yeah, I think that I think seriously, if the Cowboys make it to the championship game, and I put know, together an uninspiring performance, though, even so, I, I know it's I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's a very hypothetical. It, it's very hypothetical, yeah. and yeah, I mean, if the Cowboys got smoked, then it's like okay, we're still that much further behind our own division foe. Yeah. But I think if, if the Cowboys make the championship game, McCarthy's going to have his job secured for a while. Do I, I, do I necessarily want that? I still have to see how this season goes right. with him as the play caller. I still think that if, if that happened, Jerry might explore options. He should be always. Like, like a Harbaugh thing, you know? Dude, I've wanted Harbaugh since, <laughs> since 2012, bro. So he can take it to the Super Bowl and lose, and then championship game, lose. And... Or, I don't know, let's say Bill Belichick's in the hot seat. Get Belichick. <laughs> Billy's getting up there though. <laughs> It'd be the Billy same thing good. when he got when Jerry Jones got Parcells. Parcells was ancient. He was pretty he coached was, the Cowboys. Yeah, he sure was. Mike McCarthy though is on the hot seat, bar none. I think yeah, that's pretty clear. Pretty clear in cat. Do you want to bullshit any more about the Cowboys? You excited for the year? Uh, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, it's a football season. It's hard I'm to excited. Get juice. I just. I just I need to learn to lower the expectations. Keep, the keeping them keeping them right right where they need to be. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have them losing seven games. I think that's pretty realistic. Yeah, I mean them getting back to twelve wins again. It's not not crazy to think because no, I mean the, the division is still you know it's like the Giants are kind of there. I don't have the Giants making the playoffs. I don't think. I still but, I'm going through all the teams. Yeah, out. I have a lot of teams right now that are going ten and seven. So I might need to kind of figure, figure, yeah. figure that out. Yeah. Figure out time for There's a lot of teams that you like think are just going to be like right there in the middle, and then you got to kind of just like say, yeah, are they really going to be right there, or do I just think maybe a little too highly of them? Yeah. Exactly. yeah. But by next week, I'll have it all figured out. Don't worry about it. Next week's going to be fun. My favorite episode of the year is next week, so stay tuned. Yeah, we'll have uh, full NFL season predictions, first week picks as well. Yes. Um, Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be good stuff.